Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead. I'm not here today, and I've been doing some weed eating, okay? Weed eating down to a little bit of grass spot in my yard, and I'm cleaning up my chicken coop at the same time. All right, so but what I'm doing is amongst this cicada swarm, <laughs> I am, I'm creating a bed around some blackberry bushes and a cherry tree um, in order to grow better for better production, okay? So I'm using my chicken bedding to do so. All right, so I've been doing some work, and I thought, hey, I need to film this, right? Okay, so I want to show you what I'm doing or what I've done, okay? And it's, it's a process, but stick with me. It's well worth it. Okay, so as you see here, I weed eated down some of this. Okay, here's my grass, and here's this. Some of this over here was already done, okay? I'd, done a, I'd already started a little bit over here before. Oh, pull out some little maple trees. But, um, so I've already done some of this right here was uh, around the blackberries and the same around the cherry tree. And, but this is all fresh. we are eating it down, okay? And I'm doing the same over here around this cherry tree, okay? So you see where I put some right here? All right, the cherry tree's right here. And there's a green stalk right there covered the, <laughs> that we're using uh, to grow cabbages in. It's on pavers, so it's actually killing the grass for me. And it will be moved eventually as soon as we get some more, prop some more things done on our properties that we want to get them done and we'll have a bed all around this edge here okay now there's several purposes in doing this first of all the, le the more i grow the less i mow right so <laughs> the more i do this the, the less yard i have to mow but also if you sit back and look at this right here okay you'll see that i'm trying to line it out appropriately i still I still I kind of line it out more this way and go around i'm going to corner it off here and go back that way this middle pit section here is a disaster but it's where there used to be an above ground pool when we bought the house we got rid of the pool and you see all these landscaping rocks where weeds like to grow up in and we're trying to create a bed on the edge of here going back up this way and what it does though it is good for our cherry tree and it's good for our blackberry bushes okay both of those all this is very young but it's really good to suppress the weeds feed the soil and and it retains moisture better that way so that way there's less water there's better fruit production less weeds now look as it will be weed free probably not completely weed free but what it does do is it helps to weed it more it helps it helps it to weed it easier okay but also there's not as many weeds around there and we get rid of the grass and all the junk around it it also takes like the grass and stuff takes nutrients as well so now instead of the grass and weeds sucking nutrients from the soil we're adding nutrients to the soil with our with our bedding but also the, everything goes into the soil can then go to our fruit production correct goes to our cherry tree and our blackberry bushes in that manner and also um as we've done in our other, other sections of our yard this what it will also do is create a bed for like each year we could plant something random like when this is done next year we could possibly put like a acorn squash plant here or some melons or things of that nature which is what we've done in other sections of our yard which i will show you right now this is a section around some apple trees that we've already that we've done it's, it's been a work in process, progress for a little bit now but this is a section here where look there are still weeds okay but they come right out see they just come right out it's no big deal so you can do that easily and right there is cherokee tan pumpkin Right here is Cherokee Tan Pumpkin. Right there is Cherokee Tan Pumpkin. So you see that's created a bed for the fruit production, but as well, we can plant random annual crops inside of there every year as we feel we need to. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about the weeding process, cleaning out the coop and things we're doing there. All right, so here we go. One thing you may want to do as well is like do this maybe before it gets hot or even in the heat of the day if you, if you that's the way you want to roll because it's kind of how i'm doing it today but when you do that you want to make sure that your your ground has time to dry up so you want to make sure that the little weeds that are that, that are left can dry up or the ground can dry up see like i'm using a, just a, a weak honestly a very weak black and dagger 20 volt weed eater um a stronger weed eater would do a much better job gas powered or 40 60 80 volt whatever you may have um but it doesn't take much a weak weed eater can do this a stronger one would obviously do a better job 
but you want to make sure that you give your ground time to dry out some before you put your bedding on there okay you can also you don't have to use bedding for this you can also use just a good wood chip that's, that's done but uh bedding's really good because that already has nitrogen in it and it will provide the soil with more nutrients okay but as you can see i mean right here we're bringing it around also what's going to do as, as well is it's going to help you um mow your yard because like if you have this stuff in your yard you want to put it in your yard in certain spots it can be kind of a pain in the butt to mow around i've done it before i've been doing it for a few years now and this will actually help line out a spot to bring my mower around see i can just bring the mower around here very easy very easy to do it's away it's away from the uh the fruit trees and bushes well enough that i won't hit them and it just provides a good smooth transition to mow around and honestly it really don't look that bad in your landscaping either um for a backyard homestead like we do it actually looks pretty solid i gotta be honest with you i mean this, as long as you can stay on it keep the weeds out of the stuff doesn't look bad at all and it keeps giving you a place to put your bedding at um every time you clean out your coop other options for doing this would be also be like if you want to use your mower and like put it on its lowest setting and mow down really tight then let kind of let the grass die from there then weed eat it down you could do that as well but you need to let need to go and weed eat it or get it taken down to the dirt you know you can hey honestly let the grass and weeds that are there let them dry out and bury them with your chicken bedding or wood chips either one because that's just going to feed the soil as well not uh it's very high in nitrogen that'll help feed the soil as well but you can but using your chicken bedding especially it kind of it's composting down it does a good job of of uh, feeding the soil and it gives you something to do with your chicken bedding all right now this is some uh bedding that i took out just a little bit earlier but i just uh, but i do want to show you our process that we go through so that you're better understanding what exactly it is that we do and how we're using it and how we get such a beautiful mulch for our uh for our ground okay so we're going to show you that right here you see what we like to do being that we have a static coop means stationary it's not going nowhere okay we're not rotating around on the grass um is that see we use pine shavings in here all right but we need a place for those to go correct so we have a 10 by 10 coop we have a 10 by 10 run currently i would like to make it 12 by 12 at least but it's doing good way it is all right so in order to give those a place to go we bring them out here right okay so bring it out to the run and by the way when you put the shavings out into your run it allows them to, to keep breaking down some more and you know if you've ever had a massive rain <laughs> a lot of snow whatever so your coop so your stationary run gets uh, gets muddy and then your chicken's toes get all caked in mud and junk doing this doesn't happen all right you never have a run that's a disaster because the pine shavings absorb all that so when you're done so when you're done with the the shavings in the coop all right you bring them out to the run now out in the run they continue to break down all right so they're still breaking down now once you have a good process of that going the next time we clean the coop we'll bring these shavings back okay to this area so that these have a place to go down here all right so then once we have them again so now over here this is the section here that has broke down more okay so it's broke down a lot so we'll just keep we'll rake that out okay so i'll rake it out give it a pile and i'll put it into the dump cart again it's a very simple process once i got freaked up here in this pile i'm just gonna shovel, I'm just gonna shovel it into the dump cart and now that you understand exactly what it is that we do and how we get to this point right here okay see that that's how we get to this point and i'll zoom this in so that you can see it just a little bit better see it's a really nice really nice mulch breaking down already composting see okay right there you see it really nice but that's how we get to that point that's what we're putting on here and i'll show you exactly exactly how we did this not not exactly rocket science but here it is You want a good thick layer. I prefer, I prefer at least three inch layer. 
honestly five inches of layer is probably better because it's going to break down and then for the layer is going to shrink down okay and your and your bedding is not going to be near as thick as you thought it was um it's a good thing for it to break down because that's that's called composting and it feeds the soil correct but it really helps if so if you really helps you get a five inch layer because it's gonna probably cut in half eventually so you want to you can actually keep feeding it um like for us we have plenty of bedding but we have plenty of spaces left to use it so it kind of has to be fed wherever it, or be used whenever we have a chance to use it in that spot but again it really helps and like if you have a small area that you want to keep feeding that way it does really well we just have so many areas uh, but so again a five inch layer or more is probably best uh, we're gonna wind up getting a few inches on this one so again just rake it out appropriately and then put it where you want it. very simple right but you see this is what you're gonna wind up with right here and you just cover it to your spot and works really well Here's a quick side note by the way if it's a really hot dry time of the year and you're looking to uh and your bedding's really dry and you're looking to feed uh some young apple trees or young fruit bushes or trees uh with your bedding you may want to wet your bedding down really well once you get it put on where you want just take your water hose spray it down an extra large amount of um water and your trees and bushes should be fine so if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we keep showing you all kinds of things to do with your chickens how to raise your chickens feed them appropriately how to use that in conjunction with your gardening in an average backyard which is what we have okay we have a half acre lot we use the back half for what we do and you can do all this homesteading style um, things in the average backyard and honestly make it look pretty good decent too all right you don't have to be a mess so thanks for watching my name is jason art of creation homestead love you guys hey you know what you can also do if you haven't turned it off yet, like us on Facebook. <laughs> We've uh, just created a Facebook page for everybody, so you can go like us on Facebook, Art of Creation Homestead, and uh, keep getting content there as well. So thank you, thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Goodbye.